Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Today's question comes from a homeowner who has a whole bunch of muckety muck in the bottom of her shower and she wants to know how she's supposed to get that clean and keep it clean. All right, so here's an answer and pay close attention to this because this applies to every shower in your home, whether it's fiberglass, whether it's porcelain, or whether you have a shower that's made of ceramic tile and it has grout in it. Okay, so here's how you keep that clean. You're gonna need a couple of supplies. And for those of you that are in your car and you cannot see what I'm about to describe to you, you can click on the show notes of whatever app you're listening to. Click on the show notes and there will be pictures and there will be links to where you can purchase this stuff. So the first thing that you need is you need a little handheld scrub brush. On one side of the scrub brush is a handle and on the other side are the bristles where you scrub the floor. And you can buy this at the Dollar Tree. It's very inexpensive and you need one for every shower. The next thing that you need is a little pump bottle of dishwashing soap. Now my preference is Dawn dishwashing soap and it's excellent for things like cleaning the grease off the bottoms of pans and dishes and things that we've eaten off of. It's also excellent for cleaning the floor of your shower with all of the junk that collects there as well. All right, the next thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a squeegee. Now on one side of the squeegee, there's a sponge. On the other side of the squeegee, there's a little rubber squeegee that lets you use it for glass and windows. Okay. Now that you have those things, the last thing you're going to need is a shower head on a hose. And this will make your job so incredibly easier than if you have to just fill up a cup and pour the cup of water on the sides of your shower doors to try to get enough water to wash the soap scum off. Now here's a secret about soap scum. If you use bar soap and you're using bar soap to wash yourself when you take a shower, that's where the soap residue comes from. If you've ever seen the pink junk that's at the bottom of your shower, that's a residue from soap and it just builds a bacteria and it turns pink. So when you see the pink ring that's around the bottom of the, the drain, or if it's in the corner of your showers, that's usually from bar soap. So you can eliminate that altogether by replacing your bar soap with liquid soap. And so if you've taken a shower, sometimes you can see with the steam in the shower, you can see all of the yuck that's on the sides of the walls. The steam highlights it, right? And the reason it does that is because now with the steam, it's loosened all that stuff up and now it looks a different color and you can see all that soap scum. So here's a secret. Everything comes off easier with steam. So if you're in the shower, if you're actually in the shower, that's the easiest time to clean your shower because everything is already steamy and it's hot and there's water. So if you ever cleaned a pan after dinner that had all this junk stuck in the bottom of it, oftentimes we'll just soak the pan and we let it sit there in the sink for a few minutes so that it loosens up all that stuff. Every time you take a shower and all this water is coming off of you and it's filling the bottom of the shower tub, it's soaking that just like you soak a pan in the kitchen sink. So at the end of your shower, after you are nice and clean, here's how you clean your shower. You can take the shower head on a hose and you can run it around the top of the shower. You always start at the top and you work your way down to the drain. That way you're not going back over where you just cleaned. So you want to loosen everything up that is all steamy. You want to loosen it all up with some water. Now, if there is soap scum on the side of your shower, You'll take just a couple of drops of the dish soap. There's a, it's in a little pump container. Just pump a couple of drops on the wall. Then take your little scrub brush and scrub it down. It's already loosened up because of the steam and the water, right? All right, now that your shower walls are clean, go ahead and hose it down once again with the shower head on a hose. And now all that water drains to the bottom floor pan of either your bathtub or your shower. Okay. So now that you're standing in the floor pan of your shower, you can take some dishwashing soap and you can just put a few drops on the floor and you can get down on your hands and knees and you can scrub the corners and the floor pan of your shower. And just like scrubbing a pan or washing a dish, it comes right off because it's already been soaking. So awesome. All right. Now, another thing that I might mention is for those 
of you that wash your hair and you use a hair dye or a hair rinse, when that comes off your head, all that dirty water goes down and it settles on the floor of your shower. And so after every single time you use hair dye, you want to make sure that you get down and you use the dishwashing soap and the scrub brush and you scrub that floor plan so that it doesn't settle. Because if it settles, even though it might look clear, it will turn colors and it will turn the bottom floor of your, your shower pan, it will turn that colors. And if you have ceramic tile, it will turn the color of your grout a different color. So you want to make sure that you scrub that up after every single time you use a store product that has hair dye in it. All right, so after that, we have the glass walls of the shower. And this is usually the beast of burden for most people because there is soap scum and there's buildup on those shower walls. So now is the time that you use your little handheld squeegee and you put a couple of drops of dish soap on that and you just wash it like you're just washing dishes. You put, do you remember in the kitchen sink how you have a little no scratch scrub sponge and you put dishwashing soap on it and you scrub the insides of the pans out? It's the exact same concept except you're doing it on the glass. And it's perfectly safe to do on the glass because you're just using a sponge, right? Then once you're done and you've scrubbed all that soap scum off, you take the shower head on a hose and you hose it down once again. And then you go ahead and turn your squeegee around and you squeegee the walls dry. Now, if you will squeegee the walls dry after every single shower that you take, your shower will always look brand new. Now, here's a reason why this is important. When you take a shower, you take a shower because you want to get clean. You want to step into a sanitary space and you want to get clean. Whether you've been outside jogging, whether you've been out working in the yard, whatever it is, if you're hot and sweaty, you want to release all that stuff off your body. You don't want to step into something that's more toxic than whatever it is you brought into the shower with you. And there are some pretty nasty showers that I've seen. And if you climb into that, you don't want to step out of the shower and, and create toe fungus because there's fungus inside the bottom of your shower. You don't want that. So you want a, a perfectly clean environment. And this happens by just tidying up your shower after every single use. And if you do it after every single use and you train all the people in your house to do this, it only takes a couple seconds because it gets easier and easier and easier to do because after a while, you're just like rinsing it out with water. Boom. Everything's clean. It looks nice. It's shiny. And then you just dry the walls and you get out and you're done. Now, if you do hire a house cleaner and the house cleaner comes and you have maintained your shower between the cleanings, it will make his or her job so much easier and it will save you a boatload of money because you won't be paying them to spend 45 minutes in your shower trying to get that clean. All right. So those are my tips for today on how to keep your shower clean. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask those questions at askahousecleaner.com or you can email me, Angela at askahousecleaner.com. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.